Hello and welcome to What Jack Has Made. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own favicon for your website using any image that you want. And this favicon will apply to a series of devices such as the Windows devices, uh, maybe an Apple phone or an Android phone. So to start off with, we're going to go over to the plugins and add a new plugin. Then we're going to type in favicon by Real Favicon Generator which is a mouthful, but you could just type in real favicon generator and it should come up. And we're going to choose the one by Felipe Bernard, Bernard even, and then download, install, activate, and now we have it activated. We're going to go over to appearance and then favicon. And now it says for us to select an image. So I'm going to upload one from my desktop, which is my logo. And then we click generate. And what we'll, this will do is it will take us over to the actual website and use the API to help us create our favicon. So as you can see, this, this is what it would look like on an iOS device. We can also change the margin sizing. If we wanted to, we could change the background color of the area around the margins, but we're just going to use the original image. Then you have options for Android. We can call it what Jack has made. And then what it'll look like when we focus it or not. On Windows 8, what it'll look like. So I can add a dark red. Um, and then we can... That's just extra options for you to add in. And then we click generate and it will generate our favicon. So it's just processing the image that we've given to it and generating all the information for the favicon to be used on our website. And the great thing about having a favicon generated is you don't have to go and use your own programs or anything else, it will just create it for you. And there we have it, we have our favicon, it's been generated. On the Windows 8 it looks a bit ugly, but I'm sure you could probably do something to modify that when you're creating your own favicon. And this is what it would look like on desktop, Android and iOS. So, click check your favicon. Because I'm on a local host it doesn't display at the moment, but yeah that's a really quick and short tutorial on how to create your own favicon. As you can see in the top left, now it's appeared for the local host. And yeah, it's just really easy and it's a great little tweak that you can do for your website to make it more personalized.